Well, welcome to Crypto News with Chingus, brought to you by Crypto World News. I am Chingus. We've got a few things to talk about today. It's currently April 10th, 2018. Bitcoin is trading at 68.43. Let's do this. Okay, brought to you by Bitcoin as China FUD busting hangs out to pour 1.6 billion into blockchain oriented startups. So this is really cool. So China, who has um, famously been banning cryptocurrency as a whole and doing everything they can just to uh, destroy cryptocurrency, has come out and they're in favor of the technology of blockchain. So that's good. The other side of cryptocurrency is the tech that goes with it and um that tech is blockchain so they also have a couple uh they have some angel investors here that are also added to the mix this is in the home city of alibaba and volvo so it's a uh, no small city i'm sure i have never been there so i can't attest to that 100 percent. but uh the fact that they're putting money into the tech is a, is a very good sign that's really good. They already have uh, 10 companies on board and with 1.6 billion in startup money, many more companies will follow. So this is good for the entire space. This is great for the technology um, to allow companies to have access to funds in order to uh, further them uh, is, is a great service for everybody in the space. Uh, next up, we're going to go to uh, Medium. This is Nano Foundation announces legal fund for BitGrail victims. So if you remember back in February, $195 million worth of Nano was reportedly um, missing from BitGrail, which was, uh, I believe at the time, it was 17 million Nano. So what the Nano Foundation is going to do, they're going to match one-to-one -one for uh, any donations received uh, in order to get some sort of legal fund going together. Uh, currently, there's been about $300,000 uh, poured into it donation-wise. Uh, Nano Foundation is going to um, match that. So now they're currently up to 600000 Now, Nano will go up to $1 million. So the goal here is $2 million total. Now, $2 million out of $195 million, not so good. But $2 million at least gets the ball rolling in some sort of legal battle that nobody knows how this thing is actually going to shake out. Um, going back to the original article, this is from uh, Fortune.com. This is just the er, – originally when it broke, so they're, they're talking $195 million worth um, was, was missing, you know, was reportedly missing. Uh, BitGrail went out and said that. Uh, so at the time it was 17 million nano and this goes on and on to talk about you know what they think happened how the owner of the exchange actually got in touch with nano foundation and asked them to fork it so that it, it never happened everything was very shady about the whole the whole thing um, and that is why they think there's some sort of legal battle they think there's something that uh, they're going to be able to get out of this uh, at least for those customers, for the victims that um, that did lose their nano in the process. So this is very interesting. We'll see how it all shakes out. It's going to be a long time, I'm sure, before we hear anything concrete. Scams in cryptocurrency, nothing new. Uh, this is actually a pretty old one dating back, uh, I believe, October 2016, but it has since resurfaced and it, it's gained some new light. This is brought to you by the Merkle. Physical letters being sent to people's houses and what they're doing is they're talking about some sort of blackmail right so originally they were talking about uh these were all sent to men and they were all saying there's uh i know about your infidelity i know that you cheated on your wife uh but if you send me you know a couple thousand dollars worth of bitcoin i'll even go through the trouble of telling you exactly how to do it you know, you're going to head over to local Bitcoin, you're going to make the trade, I'll give you my wallet ID, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, this is this has come back, it's, it's gained some new light. Uh, these letters never really went away, but uh, they're back in full force. So 
So if you read this article, it, it'll almost make it sound like this is a, a brand new thing, but it, it really isn't. Let's go to um, another source here. So CNBC, and this is exactly right. I know you cheated on your wife. Uh, it's a blackmail scam, payment in Bitcoin. Uh, they actually have a copy of a letter. So this is sort of what it looked like. This particular one is asking for $2,000. Um, and then it goes on to give you the instructions on exactly how to go ahead and get your Bitcoins so that you could pay him. So be smart, understand the space that you're in, uh, don't get caught up in these scams that are out there. They, they will they'll come to your email, right? they'll pop up on your phone, they're coming to your house now, just be smart. All right, well, that about wraps it up for now. Uh, again, my name is Chingus. Thank you for watching. Again, this is brought to you by Crypto World News. Check them out on Discord. Check them out on Twitch and uh, be part of the community. All right, until next time. Later. I mean, oh, God, my back is killing me. We got something. Happy to feel.